Welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory 2. Since last time I took the element rings for breakfast, making pendants, and spicy foods lessons. And as you can probably see, we have the silver axe, um, hammer, and sickle. Yeah. Now we're really talking tool wise. They even went ahead and cleared the stumps in. Um, Lysia Islands farms. So after we drop off some gems, monster drops, marmalade, and scrap iron, it's time to head on and see what exactly awaits us beyond that particular altar. And then we're going to see if I can effectively make the um, pull axe. Um, speaking of, here are my stats. Got cooking up a couple of times, making marmalade and juices and pickled turnips. Uh, forging up a tiny bit from the upgraded tools. Today is not the day we're fighting the boss, though. Um, in game, maybe this episode. The ruined shrine. More ores. Uh, Goblin Dawn, I want to say. Don't put the broadsword with the wind sword. And a, a portal. Or an altar is what I wanted to say. Both are technically correct. The best kind. You hit hard. I don't like that about you. What I like about you... I don't know the words. Ugh. Only one who can bring low the Lord of the Waves may enter. Yeah, we have to fight the boss. What do you expect, though, at this point? Having more ore rocks is, of course, amazing. But even if I wanted to, um, we would not. We do not have the rune points to fight the next boss. I think he has like 2,500 health. I think I might be able to squeeze a 20 plus percent chance of making the polax. Let's see, 10. You know what? I have enough stuff that it's worth the shot. And succeed or not, I still get the skill experience. There we go. Pull axe get. We could have bought this, but I like forging my own stuff. 35 attack, one charge that I'm probably not going to use. Actually, we could actually do this today, because we do have um, the bath available to us. I, and I have the cure spell and three recovery potions. Yeah, it's worth a shot. Just gotta... Let's take a little bit of time to clear wood out of um, Trieste Forest, though.
because we do have the rune flowers and crystals in here. I really need to... I can't plant the fall seeds yet. Um, is there a crystal in here? No. Oh well. But yeah, I can't plant the fall seeds until um, after Machina Valley is done. We can build the dojo now. It would take a while, but... Would it take a while? What am I talking about? Uh... I still need wood because to beat the game, you actually need to expand the barn as much as you can. I think it's like... 10,000 gold and 50 wood each time or something. Time to start plants. All right. Let's take making proof badges. Okay, take proof warrior, add stuff to it, and it becomes an accessory, I think. Again, we don't have the material to make it just yet. Broadswords are a perfectly good weapon class, it's just I decided to do something different. If you want to just go with an aqua sword and a wind sword and stuff, go nuts. I mean, honestly, I'm probably going to use broadswords for everything except boss fights. out that marmalade is a birthday gift, not an everyday gift for the twins. Whoops. At least they tell you, uh, this is a birthday gift. Byron's not home. Uh, Alright, I guess let's go turn in the goblin pirate quest to Tanya and do some around town requests. While waiting for the bath to open. 
Oh, I thought I already did. Whoop. I'm gonna grab the rune crystals from, um... Trias Tourist, then. Uh, I need that energy to fight Goblin Pirates, yo. Really? Game? Honestly, now I think about it, the music in this game really reminds me of Dragon Quest. should upgrade the wind sword if I get the chance cuz I am going to need it in the Trieste forest shrine once that opens up which granted it will take a while but it'd also be nice to make my general weapon better let's use the poleaxe for a bit Yeah, 40 damage in one hit. Not bad. I don't even do that much damage to... Um... Enemies in Trieste Forest with the Wind Sword. and goal. Hmm. Let's see, I don't think we've unlocked it. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, you can buy the Defender now. Um, it's a better non-elemental weapon, but it's still kind of crap. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's plus six over the Steel Sword, but the Wind Sword is plus eight. to offload. Honestly, I'll just use my rune points practicing magic here while waiting for... Um, no, not enough. Alright. That's done. Um, just go ahead and double check, see if Byron is in his house. No. All right then. Let's head to Blessia Island. Remember that ship that was docked that had um, a goblin pirate and a goblin captain spawn? That is going to be where our next boss battle is. Uh, let's go ahead and save.
Oh, right. The Octo Pirate. As you might expect, somewhat tougher than the Trieste Forest boss. Though he is more lacking on the number of projectiles. He makes up for it in mobility. As in, he has it outside of Berserk mode. Okay. I figure it's more interesting to see me actually have to carefully aim than just hack and slash away with the broadsword. Um, if you have the water laser spell, I recommend bringing it. I forget how you get that one. But he is a fire boss, despite being an octopus. <laughs> yeah, the elemental... The boss being designed based on the area, but... Um, elementally based on the dungeon's theme is bizarre to me. Like, it makes sense to me that a tree is earth element. Doesn't make sense to me that Earth is beaten by wind, but. Gotta stop missing. Should I really have waited until I had a tier higher weapon? I guess so. Um, let's try with the wind sword, I guess. Wow, this is better in every way. Maybe because it has elemental damage on it, but... Or it could just be that the axes are poorly balanced. Against their counterparts. sword really is obscene to get so early on, but... I think it's just a way of saying sorry for not giving you crafting for so long, but... Alright, Berserk mode. He is just gonna move faster and throw more projectiles, I think, and have that blind attack. Oh, it doesn't inflict blind. I don't know if blind is a thing in this game. It does cause slowdown on Desmume, though. Alright, got him. Man, I probably could have fought him a week earlier than I did. Oh well. We'll get his tablet fragment. <clears throat> I'm going to claim the um, defeat the boss fragment last, though. I think it's more fitting anyway. 
<sighs> All right. Let's go deposit our ore back at the school. Oh, something I should note about the seed maker. Um, you do just put a crop in and get a seed out, but you can't use it when you're on a quest because quests give you those super expensive takes forever to grow plants. Like Noel grass or uh, lamp grass. Um, all right. Any interesting quests? Kami wants us to deliver something. Your sister? Oh, Dorothy. I think. Heart pendant. Yeah, it makes sense that it would be a pendant. Okay, really, where? By the dock, maybe? <clears throat> Voice crack. No, Rosalind and Julia, but no Dorothy. I'll just ask Alicia. I just saw her there, so it makes sense. All right. Oh, we get our own heart pendant. Nice. Um, let's see. What am I doing? Uh, more magic attack. You know what? I'll take it. It's only a slight defense hit. Um, and I like the int bonus. But I think that's going to be it for now. So, next time on Let's Play Rune Factory 2, I guess the logical progression would be to go to Machina Valley. Once we acquire the rest of the tablet in Lysia Island, of course. See you guys then.